In this episode, I'm going to be interviewing Bruce Lee historian, artist, and collector Steve Wallen, and it's coming right up. All right, Steve, so I'm going to show the guys some of your uh, work up close a little bit. So why don't we start with this Batman uh, picture. Tell us a little bit about uh, this picture and then uh, what inspired that picture. What inspired this picture was uh, the 60s vibe. I've always been a huge Batman fan. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting Adam West, Burt Ward, and Julie Newmar, and they each signed it for me. And um, I had to put Bruce and the Green Hornet in. <laughs> I see that. Because, uh, yeah, they, they were such a big part of Batman. William Dozier, same guy that produced them. And, um, of course, the crossover episode. Yeah, so, this is a beautiful yeah. painting. I love it. I mean, I, it reminds me of the 60s, man. I was yeah. a big Batman fan in 66. And then when Green Hornet came out in 67, I would run home right. to watch both Batman and the Green Hornet. Man, I love that picture. Try to put a lot of colors in, into it, you know, because Batman was colorful, if you yeah. remember. In color, remember that? In and it's color. so vintage looking. I love it. Thank it's you. it's Thank like you. the colors from the day. Thank you. Wow, beautiful picture. Let's move up to this one. So this is another beautiful piece of uh, artwork you have here. Thank you. This what's, is, one, this, what's this one all about? This is a 30 inch by 40 inch. Mm -hmm. um, the idea I got was uh, I saw a poster of Einstein and on the other side of him had like his equations and stuff. Yep. And I thought, wait a minute, why I do that with Bruce? Him developing his style and his system and, and like his stationery and his, his stamp and, and the signs George made and the oh, yeah, I see that. And so uh, that's that's the idea for this. Wow, one. that's beautiful, man. Thank Another you. great piece. Wow, you're you do amazing much. work, man. So let's move over to this Enter the Dragon one. Okay, this, this is one of my favorites. Okay. This is also a 30 inch by 40 inch. Um, I was lucky enough, I did that one for you, so mm -hmm. I said I gotta do one for me. <laughs> so um, I was lucky enough to have John Saxon sign it right here. Bob Ball signed it right here. And Jim Kelly right here. And Robert Lee was the first one to sign it right here. And I'm wow. trying to get more signatures, but it's getting harder and harder. Yeah, man, that's an amazing piece. Thank you. Thank what about uh, Bolo? You ever meet Bolo? Never, but Never. Uh, I'd like to one day. Yeah, that'd be I awesome to get his signature on there. All these guys are hard to get Jackie Chan. I know, Chan. man. Jackie, yeah. well, you might be able to get Jackie. Yeah. He, he does a lot of book signings. Yeah, working on it. <laughs> and then I love these little uh, items down here. You got the uh, life cast. Did you paint those? Uh, no, this, this I got just like this. Um, this right here is a little chop that George Lee had made for me in Chinatown. It's like my own personal chop. It's an artist, you know, artist thing. And um, I use that to usually use chop my paintings. Oh, and nice! Stuff. This is a face mask. I've never seen another one from the like life cast, I guess. But I painted this. It came white like this, but yep. I painted it. Beautiful job. And there's the uh, tombstone that George Lee. Of course, George you know Lee about the tombstone. Gave you personally. Yeah. Yeah. And then you beautiful got a little, guy missing. Is that the statue that came out? Back this is in a resin that. statue wow, yeah. that came out. I had to glue it and stuff, but um, and I painted that. It's hand painted by me. You can see the back. Yeah, you did a great job on that, man. Yeah, thank you. Love the color tones on it. Thank wow, you. Beautiful. Yeah, like we were talking about, I think the cat suit was always blue. blue. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I think so too. Then the black uh, cat suit. And then you did a little Angela Mao uh, yeah. dedication here. Yeah. Um, be nice for her to sign this, but I know Hector Martinez, shout out. Uh, he's really interested in this, so we'll see what goes. Yeah, how maybe that one goes. day uh, we'll get you to New York City and you'll, have, you'll eat right, in the Angela right. Mao's restaurant with us and we'll get it to sign oh, yeah, it, man. That would be great. That would be awesome. That would be great. This is my artist symbol. Uh, a guy made for me a medal, but I painted it. Um, it's my little artist trademark of like this right here. Yeah. And uh, this film right here, was uh, I got from Randy Wong way back in the day. He said he only made 10 of them because uh, the original film was so brittle he didn't want to keep using it to get. But you can you could actually make you know, photos off it. Yes, yeah, so that's 35 millimeter film, yes. right, of uh, yes. a, a, a shot of uh, the Green Hornet, right? Right, right. So he made those photos from the film. Right. Yep. Yeah, I remember when that came out, I think I got one of those as well. And then you have this classic picture here. Yeah. Um, I've seen so many shots of Bruce on that rooftop in yeah. Hong Kong, so I thought I'd try to do a collage and, and uh, just messing around.
Steve, you. Steve, you did a great job, man. Listen, oh, thank you. Thank you once again. You're welcome. I appreciate it, man. You did great work, buddy. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, buddy. Thanks for having me, Charles. You're welcome, man. All right. Because, you know, Steve Wallen's a really great artist, and I have four paintings that uh, Steve has done for me. One is the 25th anniversary of Enter the Dragon. You guys have seen that episode, and you can see the kind of uh, detail he puts into his artwork. So if any of you guys want a custom painting, Steve is up for that. And uh, where can they reach you if they want to get a painting or, you know, tell you that they would love you to do a custom painting, and then you can talk to them through email. Where can they email you? It's steve.customartist.walling37 at gmail.com. Okay, I'll post it also. Long one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then I have an Etsy store also. Um, it's Steve's Custom Art Store. Just go to Etsy and then search Steve's Custom Art Store and... Uh, I have items on there and yeah. I'm real reasonable. And if you guys say that you're subscribed to the channel, he'll even work out a discount for you guys. So That's right. uh, we're, we're talking about that now just for you guys as fans. Get those so subscribers up. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so uh, Steve was uh, kind enough to do that. And again, I would definitely suggest you order one of his pieces of artwork because they're they're historic, they're classic, they're epic, and they'll stay with you for a lifetime and you'll own a piece of uh, dragon history, you know, told firsthand by Steve Wallen and his uh his imagination and how he puts these together is just incredible, man. Thank so you, uh, I appreciate you inviting me over here today. Oh, you're today. welcome. Thank you again for ingratiating me into your home. Uh, oh, thanks for you know, driving uh, all the way down here. 375 <laughs> miles today I drove just to do this interview with Steve. And his right? arms ain't even tired. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I knew it would be well worth it. So uh, I want to thank you guys, as always, for joining in. I hope you enjoyed this episode with Steve Walling and myself here today. And for those of you who are new to this, the, the channel and haven't subscribed yet, please remember to hit the subscribe button and, and the like button and give the, the episode a thumbs up. So again, thanks for joining us. And uh, once once again, Charles signing out from the Bruce Lee Collection here with Steve Wallen saying have fun collecting and Thank we'll you. see you next time, man. All Take right. care, guys. Great channel. <laughs> Thank you, Steve, man. That was fantastic, All buddy. Right. Thank Appreciate you. it, man. Wow.